Trebelli. Hit by a pitch and left the game. Um, and the bullpen gave us a nice finish, even though they got nicked with one run, but the guys out there did a fantastic job. And, and truthfully, for for Jordan to just keep him at two runs throwing 96 pitches in four innings, which, uh, he got some mound work in. You were asked before the game about what has impressed you with Brian Reynolds, and then when you see a moment like that in the 11th inning, I mean, what's your reaction? Like, yeah, it puts a big smile on your face. I mean, he had a double off the glove to, to keep the hitting streak alive, and he puts an exclamation point on the end of his night. Marte puts an exclamation point on the, on the end of his night for a guy that's been out 10, 11 days, hadn't seen any live pitching. It was a little rough in the middle. Uh, but for Reynolds, what a, what a charge. Uh, his first RBI, uh, first home run, uh, off a veteran pitcher, a good pitcher. Um, pretty swing. Left battle too. It seemed like he was maybe a little frustrated about some of those outside pitches, but then to stay with that one and, and drive it the other way, just to keep up the maturity there. I don't think it's the first time we've seen it. As I've said before, he's going to fight. He's going to play and he's going to work. Uh, he, he doesn't let things, he really found a, a good way to compartmentalize his at bats, to keep him individual. And he stayed in the hunt, stayed in the hunt, and then the th to throw out to pound that double to left center field to, to tie the game up. Yeah, he's turned it into a to a professional hitter. I mean, that's that was his goal coming into the season after the lessons he learned last year. And he's taken some nice strides through the month of April. Why were you guys April? so successful against Leclerc in the ninth? You know, a combination of things. Um, possibly we we got balls to hit. We hit them. Um, we didn't chase. Um, he was on a roll. Uh, he's had some challenges as well. I mean, you know, you, you just stay on guys. You, you try and make them get it in the strike zone and shrink the zone a little bit, look for pitches to hunt and hit, and we were able to do that. What about Steve McGraw in those two innings there right after Wiles? He considered he hadn't pitched in a week. No, I mean, he hadn't pitched in a longer time before that, so I wanted to get him in the game. Um, two runs down, left-handed top, top heavy lineup, and he came right after him. I thought the best fastball we've seen in a while. Uh, his changeup played extremely well. Felice's first inning was as good as we've seen him in a long time. I mean, and we had a four-run ninth inning, a four-out ninth inning. He might have been able to get out of that inning. I mean, he struck out a guy who ended up on first base. So I thought both those guys gave us really good stuff backing up, backing up Jordan. And then, you know, unfortunately Frankie wasn't able to put away the left hand. But he got the next guy because a pet strokes a double, throws one. We're done. We're done. Good chance we're done. Um, and then with Keone and Crick and, and Vasquez, it was a strong finish. On those two home runs in the 11th, did that win help them, hurt them, or neither? Uh, I don't see enough games here. Both those balls were hammered, though. Okay. So i got to believe both those balls are going out of a lot of parts. Clint, why do you think uh, the Rangers were able to drive up Lyle's pitch count so quickly tonight? Well, it could be a combination of them having good at-bats, fouling some pitches off, and also it could be he was just off with his command. I mean, to throw 24 pitches average 24 pitches an inning, it just lets you know that you're, you're, uh, you're having to work way more than you want to. He only had one guy retired on three pitches or less. He had seven three ball counts. You had the strikeouts to it, that, uh, that spikes your pitch count a little bit, four walks, so it was just a lot of, a lot of pitches made. I remember you, were tell, you told me earlier that you were still going to trust Kell in those late situations. How good would you see him kind of come through in that situation again? Well, he came through. I mean, he got pushed a little bit, he answered. He's had a nice, nice four game uh, confidence building time. He's faced more right-handed hitters than left. Excellent opportunity tonight. The, the one right-hander got on. He followed up. He got the next right-handed. And he had to face pretty, two pretty tough left-handed hitters. And he answered. And, you know, I really believe the bullpen's getting some traction. And we're going to try and just keep them in places where we feel they match up the best right now and then get them all rolling together. Um, it was fun to watch him tonight. And then Crick following that. That's as efficient. I mean, I don't think you can have more efficient than any than, than he did. How many pitches did he throw? Eight pitches? Eight. Two guys retired on three pitches or less. Yeah, very sharp. Three out of three first pitch strikes. Good stuff. Clint, what, uh, what, if any, update can you provide on Cervelli? Is anything? He was seen by Dr. Meister, the team doctor, a little more tomorrow. Ms. Reynolds has a slow heartbeat, it seems like, that you look for, you hope you look for in young guys. Well, sure. And again, he's now he's played eight <clears throat> games. We'll see where it goes. He answered big tonight, and he's kept things in a pretty good place um, throughout uh, the beginning of spring. Uh, he's shown some maturity. Um, 
he's owning some things. I think he's become a better self-evaluator. He's working real hard. He's giving us a shot in the arm. Clint, uh, uh, Banny just left the uh, clubhouse. What's it been like to have him back uh, personally and professionally? Love having him back. He's one of the best friends I've ever had in the game. Uh, from an organizational standpoint, he was pouring in a lot of these guys way before I was. Um, then we got to stand side by side in the dugout for four years, and I got to watch him from afar, admire the work that he was able to do here. Um, he adds a edge, he adds passion, uh, and he, he's tactical. So there's a lot that he brings to the table we're happy to have. Thank you.